they'll push peer, uh, fear and panic to you. But you know, if you've got somebody else out there who's uh, giving you different information, like me, that's the problem. I'm the problem, not them. The people who are driving you into suicide because of fear, uh, they're not uh, the problem. Having different sources of conflicting information is a problem because it undermines trust in the human institutions that choose to rule you. So what is the answer? Well, Denison Forum got it right. As I said, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses. What do we trust in? We trust in God. All others pay cash. And they have to demonstrate that they're worthy of the trust. And when we look at this, when we talk about trust in institutions, what we're really talking about is faith, isn't it? We're really talking about what do you put your faith in? Um, it can, if we look at the, the horizon and what these people are planning to do to us and how accomplished they have been, they've been successful in everything else that they've done in life, you know, then uh, this has always been the age old question that is <clears throat> mentioned over and over again throughout the Psalms. And why are the wicked prosper? And are they going to prosper to the extent that they'll be able to destroy us? And over and over again, the answer is, they will soon be gone. But God will remain, and those who trust in him will remain. Some trust in their chariots and horses. Some look at the people who have wealth that we have never even dreamt of before. Technology that we've never imagined. Who have essentially a monopoly on being able to address and give information to people who can print money out of thin air. People look at that and say, how can we prosper in that? Uh, you know, <clears throat> I've had a situation. I was blessed to lose everything at one point in my life. And when that happened, I had just read something. Um, we had, we sold our video stores because I didn't want to have anything to do with Hollywood anymore. And, um, and when we sold it, it was a fraudulent criminal deal. We fought them in court and I lost even more money. And we walked away with nothing. And so at that point in time, you know, we were looking at a situation where we'd lost our income, we'd lost our wealth, we we're about to lose our home. And I read a, 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 a report that um, is actually a historical report. It was an event where there was a guy who was an expert tightrope walker. I don't remember if it was the, I think it was the, uh, the latter part of the 1800s. And he went to the base of Niagara Falls. And it, it's still life-threatening down there. <clears throat> it's, um, a lot of people have uh, died in boats trying to navigate that white water that's there. It's, it's really, uh, very, he wasn't up at the top of the Niagara Falls, but he was down at the bottom. And they still had the place marked. And what he did was he strung a rope across it, and he did a demonstration to the people who were there. And they watched him, you know, go back and forth and doing, carrying different things. And at one point in time, he uh, went across with a, a wheelbarrow. And he came back, and he put a bunch of weight in the wheelbarrow, and he went back and forth across the, uh, the rope that he had tied there. And um, the people had seen all this stuff. They'd seen him do all of that. And they said, and he, so then he stopped and he dumped it out and he goes, who wants to ride in the wheelbarrow? <laughs> I'll push you across the ropes. And he didn't have any volunteers. Even though they had seen him do it and seen him walking back and forth doing all kinds of things and seen him walk back and forth pushing a heavy wheelbarrow with, that would have been equivalent to them being in it, uh, they didn't trust him. They didn't trust him. And so that's, and that was the point of the story. It's a true story. Uh, again, they have the spot marked. <clears throat> and uh, so with all of that happening, we packed up the kids and we went to Niagara Falls. Stood at the pot, the uh, place. Because it isn't enough. It isn't enough to say that you trust in God.
you have to put yourself in the wheelbarrow. So, where are we today? We see uh, difficult times. We see uh, Niagara. And what are we going to do about it? What do we trust in? That's the question. What do we trust? You're listening to The David Knight Show.